Watch where the fuck you're going. Oh. I'm sorry, actually. That was my fault. Here. Let me help you pick up your things. So. Uh, it's been a while. I've not seen you around much. Ah. Busy with your classes. Right. I forget you still have those. <laughs> School isn't my thing. I've got too much else to do and to bother with. Here, let me help you carry your stuff back to the apartment. No, no, it's the least I could do for practically running you over back there. So, how have your classes been? Learning anything interesting? Computer stuff, huh? Well, that will get you a good job, eventually. Now, I know who to come to when I got computer issues. The guys aren't very helpful. I think they know even less than I do when it comes to technology. You definitely have the brains for it, though. You've always been smart like that. My dad always used you as an example of how we should do in school growing up. Yeah, really. That's why my brother and I tended to pick on you so much as kids. We would get so annoyed when he lectured us about school and how we needed to be more like you. Well, yeah, it was annoying, but he was probably right. We just didn't see it back then. So, you're out of school for the next couple of weeks before the next semester starts, right? Why don't you let me take you out to dinner? Or a movie, or something one night? Why would she want to do something like that? No, darling, you should go out with me. I am much higher up the food chain than this fool. Fuck off, Joe. No one asked you. No, I don't think so. I'm here to save this beautiful lady from you and your pathetic attempts to corrupt her. Me? Corrupt her? If anyone would corrupt her, it would be you. Now politely, fuck off, before you find more trouble than you can handle. <laughs> you really think you're something, don't you? Well, your daddy isn't here to fight your battles right now. So what are you going to do? I don't need anyone else to fight my battles for me. I've proven that to you more than once. Or do you need a reminder? No, sweetheart, it's fine. I won't waste any time on him here. You're right. Come on, let's get you home. Yeah, darling, let's get you home. I'll be happy to do that and then deal with this worm later. Hey, let her go. I said I'll be the one to walk her home. She's much safer with me than with someone like you. Back off now, Joe. If you know what's good for you. I don't think I will. Get your fucking hands off her now. This is starting to get interesting. You really are getting angry. What does this little girl mean to you, huh? <laughs> I'm right, aren't I? You actually have feelings for this one. It's none of your business, Joe. And if you don't let go of her arm right now, you will fucking regret it. I was just playing around to get a rise out of you before. But now that I know the truth, well, there must actually be something about this girl that's worth fighting over. I don't think I will leave after all. No, I'll have to make sure you lose for good. She will be mine. How about that, darling? You know I'm way better of a catch than he is. Really, Joe? Your head is way too big for the rest of your body. I don't know how you walk around upright at this point. Everyone knows you're all tall. You talk like you're some big shot. 
but this neighborhood is ours. We all know it. So just walk away right now and I might forget this stupid temper tantrum of yours. Your father might be in charge right now, but that doesn't make you a prince. Besides, he won't be here for long. That old man will eventually be incapable of the job and someone stronger, better, younger, will take over. I plan to be that man, and I don't expect to have to wait too long. Yeah, you keep dreaming, but go do it somewhere else. We don't like to have garbage trashing up our nice clean streets around here. You really think you're funny, don't you? Well, you just wait. I've got plenty of support for my claim, you'll see. Great. That just means I will know exactly who not to trust once I take over. Well, wait, wait. Sweetheart, I'm sorry, just come here. I will walk you home now. What, what about our date? Fuck. She left us both. This is all your fault, Joe. It's not like she was going to agree to that boring date of yours. Dinner. A movie. What is this? The 1950s? God. Girls want more excitement than that. What do you know about it? You've never been on a legit date before. I've had plenty of dates. If you had to pay them to go, it doesn't count. Whatever. I'm out. You're starting to bore me to death. Finally, we agree on something. Seriously, man. Don't let me see you bothering her again. If you know what's good for you. Got it? She is mine. Does she know that? I'm not so sure she would agree. That's none of your business. If she were to choose me, then yes. It is my business. Stay the fuck away from her. She is way too good for the likes of you. Like you're any better. Of course I am. Now fuck off, Joe, before I change my mind and let my guys finish this like they're itching to do. All it takes is one signal from me. This is my neighborhood after all. So get the fuck off my street and stay away from my girl. Got it? Whatever. She's probably not worth it anyway if you're so stuck on her. I'm out of here.